All righty. So is this? All right. So this is now recorded. Good morning. We left off in section 6.2. We talked about, I hear background noise. So for the fifth time, make sure that you are on silent. Go ahead and put yourself on mute. Thank you. All right. So then what we want to do is we talked about subtracting polynomials, making sure that they have the same denominator because we're talking about fractions. So now for number nine and for the rest, we're going to find the LCD of each rational expression. When we're finding the LCD, remember we talked about if we have, if we look at the denominators, in this case, it's 36 and 54. We need to find the LCD of this particular number. So here we're going to do a list of all of the multiples of each. And we're going to identify where they match. Where is the first number that they share? Is that clear? That's how we find the LCD. So 36, multiples of 36, 36, 72. And then again, you have your calculator. So if you don't know this on top of your head, if you do 36 times three, we get 108. And then I'm gonna stop right there, okay? Now on the bottom, the multiples of 54 is 54. And what's 54 times two, isn't that 108? And I claim I'm gonna stop right there because that's where they first match, is that clear? So my LCD guys is 108. So right now for these particular problems, our, all, of, all the things that we have to do is find the LCD. We don't have to solve for anything. We don't have to combine anything. They're not asking us to add. All of they're asking us to do is to find the LCD. So the LCD is 108. Any questions in terms of the LCD for problem number nine? Something that you've done already. Okay, 10 is a little bit different because 10 contains numbers and variables. So how do we find the LCD of that? Okay, well, same thing. We're going to look at the denominators first, 10 and 10xy and 25x squared. So 10xy, the multiples of 10xy are what? Well, you have to look at the numbers and split them apart. We have a 10, we have an X and we have a Y. So then the multiples of 10XY will, will be what? Will be 20XY, 30XY. These are all some of, some of the examples. Also, the multiples, let me come back here a little second. So 10, we'll have 10, 20, 30, 40, so on and so forth. The X is X, X squared, X to the third, so on and so forth. Y is Y, Y squared, Y to the third. So it can be any combination of all of these. One of the common ones would be 10 X, Y, 10 X squared, Y squared. Those are all multiples of 10 X, Y. Well, what about 25 X squared? Notice that we have to have a Y in our problem because we have a 10 X, Y. So 25, what are the multiples of 25 X squared? Well, it's going to be 25 X squared, 50 X to the fourth, so on and so forth. We have multiples of 25 X squared. So we're trying to find where do they match? So one of the things that we can say is, okay, well, how many X's do they share? Another one would be 50 X squared. That is also a multiple of this problem. Same idea because it's X squared, X to the third, X to the fourth, so on and so forth. So the LCD of this problem will be 50 
x squared y. This is my LCD because, well, this one contains two x's and this contains a y. You have to have a combination of the two and the LCD between 10 and 25. So this seems a little bit complicated, but it isn't. It really isn't. So you first, I would do the following. Let me rewrite this by steps. You can leave that what you have, that's fine, but I need room. So I'm, I'm gonna delete it because I need room. So first you find the LCD between the numbers 10 and 25. That's the first thing you do. The LCD between these two is 50. That is the LCD of the number. Now I need to find the LCD of X, Y, and X squared. Well, I compare them. I know which one is missing. I know that I need an X squared and a Y. The, that, that contains my LCD. It's a multiplication of 50 and X squared Y. Any questions here? Yes or no? Hey. Wendy, what's your question? <laughs> Sorry, but um, well, on the variables, what you just did, you just said that you multiply. Sorry, I got lost there. Yeah, so who's bigger, x or x squared? x squared. So I get this one. Which one is y? What is x squared missing? What variable? It's missing oh. the y. Okay. That's why I said that they multiply. They multiply this and this. The number and the variables need to combine. Multiplication. That's what I mean. You'll see more on 11. Okay. So on 11, when we look for the LCD, we find what is missing of each. So we have T and we have T minus 5. The least common denominator here will be the multiplication of those two. Um, so as an example, very simple, one over three and one over four. What is the LCD of these two? What is the LCD of one third and one fourth? Isn't the LCD 12? Oh, how did you get that? You multiply the three and the four. That's why you multiply the T and the T minus five. So in this case, that's how we're finding the LCD, but be careful on 12. On 12, we have to factor first, and then we need to, so we look at the denominators. We have 3x plus 9, and we have 4x minus 12. We first factor the denominators. Write that down. We need to factor the denominators. We didn't have to do that for the top because they were already in its factor form. So we factor the three and we're left with X plus three. We factor the four and we're left with X minus three. Okay, so these are the two denominators that we have. We have three X plus three and the denominator four X minus three. Do you guys follow? Yes or no? Everybody's with me here? All I'm, all I'm, I'm not doing, I'm not combining anything. I'm just looking at the denominators right now. So now these are my denominators. I first start by looking at my numbers. What is the LCD between three and four? My LCD is 12. I just did an example like that. Okay, the numbers are done. Now the multiplication, the next part is finding the terms. Oh, this is X plus three, this is X minus three. But guess what? Your denominator has to contain both of them. So you'll have X plus three, X minus three. All this guys is your LCD, all of it. Questions? So the same thing we did for 11, we took T and T minus five, and we multiply them together. We take X plus three, X minus three, we put them together. And we found the LCD of three and four, which was 12. Questions here. This is a time to ask questions if you have them.
so everything is going to be um, uh, become a little bit more complicated that we're going to have factoring involved and all of this good stuff. So if we have again 13 we're finding the LCD here we're not adding we're not subtracting we're not multiplying we're not doing anything. All we're doing is finding the LCD of the rational expression. So on 13 we look at the denominators first. The first denominator is a squared, a squared plus two a plus one. What do you think we're gonna to have to do? Starts with an F, factoring. We're gonna factor using the X method, correct. So let's try to factor the first denominator, a one, a two, a one, and a one. This, is, this should be fast now, you should all know how to do the X method. We've done it. A times C goes on the top, which is one. The, the B goes on the bottom. Two numbers that multiply give me one is one times one. When you add, you get two. So my bingo numbers are one and one. So the denominator, the factored form is A plus one times A plus one. I just factored the first denominator. Now I have to factor the second denominator. And I'm going to do that with purple. I'm going to do a squared plus a. How do I factor this? Using the what? What technique am I going to use? Perfect squares. Perfect squares? No. Do we have subtraction? Do what? what how are you? Uh, X addition, so we don't. Not the X method either. I saw the X method. No, be careful, Reina. We can't use the X method. I need three terms. This is why it's so important, factoring. If you have not mastered factoring, you really can't go further. What technique do I have to use here? The, what is the first one I, you learned? Let's start there. What was the first? Not not difference of squares, Viviana. Be careful. Difference of squares. The GCF. Thank you, Wendy. GCF. Not difference of squares. We don't have subtraction. Difference means subtraction. We don't even have subtraction here. So no. We're going to use the GCF. They have an A in common. Factor it out. You're left with A plus one. That's how you factor the last, the next one. So now we need to combine. We need to combine and compare the denominators. So look over here. We're trying to find the LCD between a plus one squared and a, a plus one. And we take the greatest ones. What do you mean the greatest one? How did I get a plus one squared? Because I have two of these. That's why I have a plus one squared. So the largest one, how many A plus ones do I have? Two. Those are the largest ones. So I'm going to take A plus one squared, but I'm missing something. I'm missing one thing. This one has an A plus one squared. Okay, that's good. But it's missing a something that it doesn't have on the A. The A. So my LCD is A times a plus one squared. You are finding the combination, you're multiplying. You're taking what's the greatest and then you are combining what you're missing. Questions here, Wendy. So basically what you're saying is that we have to put what is missing all, all the time. So you can- between, between the two, when you've, well, what you did right now, though you find the LCD and then it's missing, whatever it's missing variable or a number, you're gonna put it on your LCD. Yes. So if I had something simple, like, I don't know. Um, let, me, let me start with like maybe a number. If I have three to the third, and then I have three to the fourth, and then here I have a times five. Let's say I have this and I wanna grab the LCD of these. I need to grab the highest one of the threes. So that's what I'm doing. I'm grabbing the highest ones of the A plus ones and then I'm adding the five. So in this case, the five is the A. So here my LCD would be three to the fourth times five. 
from these two. I took what was missing and I took the highest one. That's all I'm doing. Is that better? Yes, much better. Thank you. So same thing, except if not, this is not numbers. You're going to see factors now. That's why it's so important to know how to uh, use the techniques. We learned like six of them. You have to master those. With, with just looking at them, you should know, oh, I'm going to use the XMED. I'm going to use grouping. I'm going to use GCF. I'm going to use difference of squares. All of that should be in your belt of techniques. Maybe I'm thinking whether should I let you use your notes anymore? Because I don't know if you're not, if it's not helping you. Because you that means you're relying on your notes and you're not getting anything out of them. So use them wisely. Your notes are there, not just to like be there and, and be just like, oh, I don't have to know anything. I can just look at my notes. Not That's not how math works. That's not how math works. You're using your notes because memorizing, it's not a good thing either, but identifying and being able to comprehend the material is part of your thinking process and the learning process. Okay. So be aware, be aware because we're going to move on now to 14. All right. This is recorded. So you guys can see this later. So again, uh, we need question. I want to say, can I answer the 14th? I think I... Get it. Okay, Luis, tell me what you did. Was that you, Luis? Yes. So on the negative three over x to the second negative four x plus three, I use the x method. Okay. So I got three on the top, negative four in the bottom. So okay. it's gonna be negative three, negative one. Okay. Uh, so I got so you got uh, x negative three. Yeah. And x negative one. Okay. That's one of and, them. And the other one I got uh, x uh, x to the second negative three x. I have x times x negative times negative three. Okay. So then you compare okay. the LCDs. And I got stuck there. Okay. So so far you simplified and you factored. Okay. Thank you so much, please. Now we need to compare. Well, first of all, which what do they share? What do they both share? They share the x minus three. So you bet your puppy that your LCD will contain one x minus three because that's the maximum number that they have, x minus three. And what is missing? What's well, x, x minus three, and it's x minus one. It's the whole thing. That is your LCD loose. And this goes to everybody. We first identify what do they match? They match the X minus threes. There's, that's the maximum number of them out, one, only one of them. And then we have X and then X minus one that we have to combine them. Yes or no? You need to know how to do this because we're going to have to add and multiply next. Wendy. Ah, let's see again, if I understand correctly. So from the two LCDs, you're gonna write only one. You're not, uh, a ver, let me try to make it up in English. So over here, what you basically do, it's the X minus three, since there are in both um, LCDs, you just write only one, correctly? Because it's only write, write, rewrite it on the answer only once. Correct. Okay. And then you take what you're missing. Okay. I'm missing the X and I'm missing the X minus one. Perfect, thank you. Correct. So you take what they share and you write it once. So on um, 13 was different because I had two of a plus one. So I took the greatest one, but here it's different because I only have one on each. So you're only going to use one. You don't need, you don't need to, you only have one. Okay. So now 15, again, I want you to find the LCD on your own. 
try this one on your own. Make sure you put done on the chat. We're finding the LCD right now. And then I have to transfer some notes. So try number 15. And if you're done, and if you think you're a pro, go on 16. Hold on a second here. If you're done, put it on the chat that you're done. So if you're done, excellent. All right, so Angela, tell me what you did first. So I used the X method. Okay. The X squared plus four at 25. Mm -hmm. And what number? Uh, okay, got it. So positive five and a negative one. Okay, five and a negative one. And those are your bingo numbers. And then for the second equation, I used the same X method. Mm -hmm. And my bingo numbers are going to be the negative three and a negative one. Okay, so then this becomes? So then my, um, or x minus one, uh, three and x minus one. Okay, so now your LCD, you're comparing the two, yes? Yes, so I would have a, um, only one of the x minus one. Exactly, and? Uh, x, mi uh, x minus three and x plus five. Thank you. X minus one times X minus three times X plus five. This whole thing would be your LCD. They share the X minus one. So I wrote that one. Now I put what was missing. X minus three, X plus five. The order does not matter. If you put X minus three and then X minus one and then X plus five, that's fine. How many of you got this correct? Good, good. All right, 16 is a little funky because now you have three different ones. Three different, three different what? Three de denominators. I would like you to factor each one. Well, X doesn't need to be factored. X is just X, that's it. You can't, there's no factoring, but I can factor this and I can factor this. I'll give you a hint. On the last one, you're going to have to factor out a negative. I want you to try this one. Make sure that you know your techniques of factoring. The first one, on the first one, you will have to use what? Ruth, do you know what technique do I need to use on the first one? What type of factoring? 
um the i think it's called the grouping not grouping we don't have four no. terms here sorry it's the one that we did on number 14 mm. for the first one so we would take out the x and should we x parentheses x minus four so does the x does the four have an x oh no sorry not that one not GCF, Michael. What can I factor from the X and from the four? Money thought. Squares? Yes. Yes. Difference of two squares. Thank you, Ruth. Difference of two squares. The X is being squared and the four is technically a square term. A is X, B is two. X plus two, X minus two. You have no idea how important it is to factor. You have a no idea. I did say at the beginning of the semester and when we started factoring, I said, if you don't know your factoring techniques, forget that you can pass this class. I'm being honest. You have to know all of them because from now on, all of what we're gonna be, all of the problems that we need to know how to do will contain factoring, all of them. So if you are still kind of like shaky on factoring, you need to get it together, okay? So I factored the first one, x plus two, x minus two. The other one was the x. And the other one, I said, you're gonna factor out the negative. How do I know I have to factor out a negative? Because the x is not the first term. We talked about this. We usually see x minus a number or x plus a number. But look at this one. The x is the second term. Ding, 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 ding. That should say something in your head saying you have to factor out a negative. And you have to do that. So that's what I'm going to do. Factor out a negative, a negative what? A negative four. Thank you. You're going to be left with what? A negative two and a positive X. You're switching your sign when you're factoring out a negative. But this doesn't look pretty to me. This is negative four X minus two. These are the same. Look at the X is positive. Look at the two is negative. So your other one is negative four X minus two. Okay, now I have to compare them. I'm ready to find my LCD. Before I find the LCD, do you guys have any questions? I like to pause. I'd like to make sure everybody's with me here. Questions here? You guys say no, but then you guys have a thousand of questions when you're doing your homework. You're gonna say, hey, she didn't do it this one and i'm gonna say yeah i did but you didn't ask questions i have a question sorry it wasn't working uh so a negative four times negative two plus x uh so you flip the they're not the x and the two correct because my whole idea is to have the x first so okay. um and i said that here the first thing i said was let's factor out a negative a negative what a negative four when I factor out a negative four from a positive number, you have a negative two because what's negative four and negative two? Oh, that's eight. When I factor out a negative four from a negative four X, you get a positive X. Wendy? Okay, let's see. Um, on this case, <clears throat> You decide to do this way, but what if uh, we do the GCF? We cannot do the negative GCF here, or this is the negative GCF? This is the negative GCF. I was like, yeah, okay. This is the negative. You are factoring the GCF, but you have to factor the negative one. Okay. But this is, yeah. Oh, okay, is no, I got confused. Yeah, the other one is the differential squares. Yes, okay. they're not the same. Sorry, I, I got confused. Um, like a, with i'm behind that's fine so from here the whole idea when we're working with addition is that you can flip flop a plus b is equal to b plus a so i just brought x minus two the x is a positive x the two is a negative two i didn't change anything i just changed the order so that's why my LCD was 
this, uh, sorry, the factorization was negative 4x minus 2. Wendy? Sorry, can I get a quick question? So right here, you said that are you going to do the negative GCF because it's automatically you see a negative sign? That's In front of the X. So I, I, yeah. that's why I wrote it here. Like I wrote it here, but then I erased it. I said, you need to know that when you, it should be like a hint when you're factoring at a negative because you have A minus X. Like the X is the second term. So if you have five minus X, you know in your head that you have to factor out a negative. If you have two minus four X, factor out the negative because your X is your second term. The X okay. has to come to the front. It has to be first. That's Perfect. the hint saying okay. factor the negative. Let me write it down. Thank you. And I said that, so I know. You could, you could watch the recording so then you could see that I did say it, but okay, anyway. So now I need to compare. Michael, you had an idea? So I saw, I saw something that you have on the chat, but can you tell me what you did, Michael? Yes, um, so I compared them. So I got uh, negative four, since I already had the X minus two and X minus two. So I'll just need one, one of those and then the X plus two. Thank you, you compare them first. They both share an X minus two. So you know for a fact that an X minus two will appear. And then there's this negative four X that they don't share. So your LCD, I think you were missing, Michael, the X. We still have an X here, Michael. Do you see that? Michael, you're with me? Yes, I'm here. Okay. I see it now. So it should be negative four X and then X minus twos and then X plus two. The whole thing is your denominator, the whole thing. So thank you for participating there, Michael. So don't forget the X. All of this is your LCD questions here. Because now that you know how to find the LCD, we're gonna start adding, multiplying, dividing, and doing all that crap. So the first step is to identify what the LCD is. And if you don't know how to do that, then you're kind of screwed. This is the time to ask questions, if you have them. Any questions? Questions here? Yeah, um, the X came out from from here it's a denominator oh, okay i see it yeah don't need it it's right there it's right there but thank you for asking so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna i think that's it for this section what i'm gonna do now is move on to section 6.2b i know that you have solutions that doesn't matter get rid of them erase them because we're gonna do it together. Those solutions are from uh, one of my uh, fellow faculties, but I teach it differently. And I, I just put them there for the students that don't like to learn, but um, I, I'm, gonna do, I'm gonna do it more and more heavily. So I'm gonna stop this share and um, I'm gonna go ahead and Put them there now, hold on, because I need to erase the answers and I need space. So for that, I'm gonna have to edit a lot of things. How do I edit that? I wanna put them in like blank. Okay. You can't really erase them. Mm. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to share my screen with you and then you will tell me what they are. I'm going to go ahead and just um, upload a new, a new document instead. Okay, so this would be, actually I have them in front of me, so that's fine. Let me share my screen. Let me share my iPad. So 6.2b, these notes um, are on modules, so you guys can find them there. Those, those should be on there. So go ahead and do that. 
start looking at them. All right, so I'm gonna write the first question down. You should have these, you should have the solutions, but get, erase them or hide them, whatever you wanna do, um, because we're gonna work on them together. So the first thing is we have two over seven X plus seven over 10 X. All right, so the first thing that you have to do is look at the denominators. You look at the numbers first. We look to find the LCD of seven and 10. How, why am I looking for the LCD first of all? Because I'm, sub, I'm adding fractions. So when you're adding fractions that don't have the same denominator, you have to find the LCD. So we need to find the LCD of seven and 10. Who can tell me the LCD of seven and 10? That doesn't take a long time. What is the LCD? 70, thank you. So um, I know that my LCD would be 70. Now, what do they share? How many X's do they share? Only one, no, how they share. So a 7x and a 10x, how many x's they share? One of them. So only one will appear. So 70x is your LCD. So if 70x is my LCD, then I need to do what? Well, what is the 7x missing? A 10. So I need to multiply top and bottom by 10 because how do I get 70X on the first term? By multiplying by 10. So I'm gonna get 20 over 70X plus, now what do I have to multiply top and bottom on the 10X by Marisol? What is this one missing? The seven. Correct, a seven. I multiply a seven then a seven here. I'm gonna get 49 over 70X. Oh, now I can combine them. 79 over, or sorry, 69 over 70X, and that's it. That's it. All of their, all of their, all, all they're asking us is to find the LCD and then add. That is, this is question one. from that section. Moving on. By the way, any questions on one before I move on? How, how did you get the 10 again? On the first one? On the first one. So my, I start, my LC, my uh, original denominator is a seven X, right, Joanne? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to get at 70 X. That's what I'm trying okay. to get. Yeah, I got it. So then you multiply top and bottom by 10. Yeah, yeah, okay. Thank now you. I'm gonna do the same thing on number two. Uh, let me look at two. Uh, two is, I'm gonna write it, it's four over three X minus three over 10 X squared. Okay. All right, so we need to subtract these. Well, the first thing is to find the LCD again because they're not the same denominator. So the first thing is I have to find the LCD between three and 10. What is the LCD between three and 10? 30. 30. 30 is the number. Now, one has an X and the other one an X squared. Who is bigger, the X or the X squared? The X squared. The X squared. So it's gonna be 30 X squared. I take the greatest one. The LCD is 30 X squared. This is my LCD, write it down. Now I need to say, okay, I have a three X, okay? I have to do, Lauren, you have a question. Um, can you just uh, multiply the denominators instead of doing like LCD? LCD or does it change later? No, because if you multiply 3x times 10x squared, you get 30x to the third, which is not your LCD. So you don't okay. do that. Not all the time. You have to work carefully here. So no. Okay, thank you. So then I have a 30x squared. I want, so I have, a, sorry, 
a 3x, I need to do something to top and bottom so I can get 30x squared. What is it missing? You have to multiply it by the uh, 10x. Correct. I multiply it by 10x. Who said that? Angela. <clears throat> Who was it? Angela. Sorry, Angela. my allergies are horrible. Today. That's fine. So you <laughs> multiply top and bottom by 10x because x times x gives you x squared. You multiply top and bottom by 10x. Now, if you look at the next one, what is just this one missing? Is this missing an x? No, because it's already a squared. What is this one missing? We need to multiply top and bottom by what? Three. By three. By three. Now I'm ready to subtract and, and clean up. 10x times 3x is 30x squared over 40x minus, I'm going on the, on the brown one, 9 over 30x squared. And you're going to say, okay, well, that's, can I combine the numerators? No, because they are not like terms. So this will just be 40x minus 9 over 30x squared. And that's it. There's nothing that I can simplify. And I'm going to grab you by the neck and I'm going to go like this. If you guys cancel these, don't do that. That is not allowed in math. Your answer will let be this. You're going to say, Ugh, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. That is your answer. Questions? Yes or no? Or maybe so. This is the time to ask questions if you have them. All right, we're gonna jump to three now if I don't see any hands up or questions. All right, let me move on to three. I'm gonna post these notes on the canvas. So um, with, with the solutions on these, now let's look at the next one. We have a two over x plus three minus four x minus three. Okay. What do we notice about the denominators? They're not the same. And I like to put parentheses for a reason. I like to do that. Normally people forget. So the LCD is the multiplication because if we compare them x plus three, x minus three, well, they don't share anything. So that means my LCD is the multiplication of the two. This is my LCD. Questions here on how I got this LCD. No questions? All right, so then I asked yeah. myself, question? Yes. Uh, Go ahead, Wendy. So how do you get that? Do you just rewrite it? Or well, no, why so, you didn't combine the terms? So hold on. Well, we're not, this is not the answer. This is the LCD. The LCD, I'm sorry. So you notice we have an X plus three and X minus three. We compare them. Okay. Do they share anything? The X, no? no, this is a whole thing. Not It's yeah. not by itself. Yeah. So they don't, they don't share anything. This is X plus three, one term. The other one is an X minus three. So you write it all of it. So if they don't share anything, that means they're the multiplication of the two. The same thing okay. we, we did with the when we had the T and the T minus five. They don't share anything. So the LCD is a multiplication of T and T minus five. Oh, okay. Thank you for explaining that. Yep. So my LCD, this, this one right here is my LCD. So once that I have my LCD, I'm going to say, okay, what is, what is the first term missing? So I'm going to erase this and then put the three over here. Because I'm going to go into here and I'm going to say, this one is missing. What is this first term missing? Luis, we have an X plus three, but the LCD, needs, the LCD requires what? 
X negative three. Thank you, X minus three. Multiply the top, multiply the bottom. I go to the next fraction. What is the next fraction missing, Lauren? It has the X minus three, but we're missing? X plus three. That is correct. Now, this is so important. So I'm gonna rewrite it to X minus three divided by, and I'm not gonna write the whole thing. I'm just gonna put LCD. Minus four times X plus three over the LCD. I'm just putting LCD. You, I don't wanna write X plus three, X minus three, X. You know what the LCD is. I'm gonna go ahead and distribute the two and this becomes two X minus six. The next part is crucial. You distribute the negative four. You don't distribute the four. You distribute the, there's a negative, negative. That's why it's so important not to lose your parentheses. So it's gonna be negative four X minus 12 all over the LCD. I distribute this and then you combine the top because when we have one over two plus three over two, don't you just combine the top? That's what we're doing on this one. They have the same denominator. Now I can combine the top. I'm gonna pause. Any questions? Wendy, I see that you want to ask something. Do you? Yes. Go ahead. Um, um, okay. I'm going back. Um, where you multiply for the top and bottom, you decide to multiply um, what? How do you decide to multiply for the negative? The negative, the X negative three because of the I got confused there. Okay. So, you say, yeah, no. Well, just, yeah. Just, just look up here. This is the original. I got lost, yeah. Do you see that this is the original? Right. And we found the LCD, do you agree? Yes. Now we're, now we're looking at the fractions, at the okay. original fractions, and we're saying, okay, this is a factor, but we need to compare it to the LCD, and we're gonna say, what term is it missing? Okay, yeah. What it. term is the first one missing? The, yeah, the X minus three. Go ahead, the X minus three. The X minus three. Now okay. I go to the other fraction. What is that one missing? Yeah, the X plus three. Yeah, I wasn't sure that it, it was, that was the reason, okay. That is the reason. Okay. And then you distribute down here, right? Correct. So, or answer, I'm sorry. So our answer is two X minus six minus. We're not done. We're not done. Okay. All, all I did was just, I haven't combined the numerators. I haven't finished yet. Okay. Well, we're okay. going to do that now. 2x minus 4x. This is why you learn everything at the beginning. You know how to combine like terms, the brothers and the brothers, the sisters. And, the, and then, so notice that you guys are rehearsing for the grand finale. That's what we're doing right now. So I'm showing you guys some moves. So then when you guys apply it, then you guys can do breakdowns. Is that clear? So here we have two X minus four X. This is negative two X minus, minus what? 18 over the LCD X plus three X minus three. Are you with me so far? Then if you want to be very, 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 very picky, you can say, oh, you can factor out a negative two from both of them. And then you can get X plus nine over X plus three, X minus three. From here to here, I factor the top. You don't have to factor the top because nothing will cancel, but sometimes you will cancel. At this time we didn't, but sometimes you will. Questions on number three. We're gonna move on to four. Lauren, you have a question? 
how would you know when to factor when you can when you can find something to factor? Exactly. This is a GCF okay. problem. So you always write it in factored form, meaning you you break it all the way if you can. I'm writing now the second one. Okay. So these are not the same denominators. You're going to say, oh, 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 they're the same. And I'm going to say, no, 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 they're not. Why not? Well, because one is X minus four, the other one's a four minus X. They differ by what? They differ by a minus and something else. So I need to compare X minus four and four minus X. The first thing that I'm going to do with this four minus X is what? You factor out the negative you factor out the negative from the second one because it's on the second term and there's a minus there. Ding, 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 ding. Factor out the negative, factor out a negative one. When you factor out a negative one from a positive, you get a negative four plus X. Oh, look, now I can flip flop these. Negative one, X minus four. This is the denominator for the second one. So to find the LCD, I have to compare them. I compare X minus four and negative X minus four. What is the LCD of this one? Who can tell me what the LCD of this one is? Who wants to take a shot? Uh, do you see an answer on the chat? Raina, not X minus four. Wendy? It's Negative one, then parenthesis x minus four. Yep, yes, because they share the x minus four, okay, but we're missing the negative. We're missing the negative, don't lose it. Thank you, Angela. And you guys are not looking at the solutions, right? You better not. No. Um... Don't even look over there, don't cheat. So now, now that we know the LCD, this is the LCD, we're gonna compare them to the original. We're gonna compare it to the original. And we're gonna say, okay, well, five X minus four, what, what is this one missing? It's missing a what, Angela? A negative, a negative one. Um, a negative one. Fine. Wendy, I'm going to put you on mute, okay? Hi, sorry. So, and then I'm going to look at the second one and I'm going to say plus five, four minus six. And I'm going to ask you, is this one missing something? Yes or no? Be Hi, X minus four. Say that again. The in parentheses x minus four on the side of four what? minus x. No. What is our LCD? Look, look up here. So we started with four minus x and we factored it as negative one x minus four. Isn't that our LCD? So the second term doesn't need anything. You don't have to times it by nothing. Because this, your LCD is the same as four minus six. These two are equivalent. Do you see that, Lauren? You don't yeah, I to, see it now. You don't have to do I anything. Because it. it's the it's, same as the other one. Exactly. Because it's the same as your LCD. Is if, you, if you had two over uh, five and then plus one over five. Well, no, not this. But if you had one six plus one third, you multiply this one by two, but you don't multiply six because six is your LCD. Do you see that? I hope you do. This goes for everybody. So then we don't touch the second one. We don't touch it. All we do is manipulate the first. Okay, well then this is negative five over this. This is four minus X plus five, four minus X. Oh, okay. Okay. They're the, what do I get on the top? 
negative five and a positive five, I get zero over four minus X. This is zero. If you have a zero on the top, you're done. We didn't touch the second one because the second one was our LCD. I just rewrote it. It just looks differently, but it's the same as four minus X. They're the same. Questions, yes or no? This is the time to ask questions. Because I'm, you're, it's a, well, we're gonna do the same thing for number five. Same thing for number five. So I'm gonna move on to five then because they're so quiet. Five. Five says four minus X over X minus two minus two X minus one over two minus X. Look at the denominators, X minus two, two minus X, X minus two and two minus X. I'm going to factor a negative from the second fraction, negative one. This becomes a minus two and a plus X. So this is negative one X minus two. You factor out the negative and then you what? Same thing. What do you do after here, Marisol? What did we do on the last one? Marisol, do you know? You multiply the top, the... Well, you're not, so first you're comparing these. Oh. We're trying to find the LCD first before you start multiplying. What do they share? They share an X minus two, but there's a negative one on the front that I have to take care of. This becomes the same problem as the one that we just did. The same, except with different numbers, variables. So on this term, top and bottom, I'm gonna multiply by negative one. On the second one, I'm not gonna touch it, but I'm gonna put a parenthesis here because that negative will distribute. I see some of you like, I don't get it. Like, tell me, what don't you guys get? I'm here to help you. It's like, you guys are just like, oh, yeah, I kind of follow what she's saying. Like, mm. no, this is, this is your education. If you have any, I mean, if you have any questions, you have to ask. And if you don't, okay, but let's, let's work. So here, notice that this is the same as two minus X, they're the same. I just top multiply top and bottom by negative one. If I multiply the top and bottom by a negative one, this is gonna be negative four positive X. This negative here will distribute to this and this. So it'd be minus two X plus one on the top and the bottom is two minus X on the bottom. Or however you wanna write it, I don't care. Negative one times X minus two. Two minus X is the same as negative one X minus two. They're the same. They're the same. They're the same. How many times do I have to say that? I don't know, but you guys are driving me crazy. So make sure that you understand where that's coming from. Okay, now we have to clean it up. We combine like terms X and a negative two. This is a negative X, a negative four and a positive one. It's a negative three over negative one times X minus two. Now, what do they have in common at the, the, the numerator? They both have a what? What can I factor from the top? Joanne, what do you think I can factor from the top? Uh, 
I honestly don't know. I'm a little lost. I'm just still trying to figure out. Okay. Um, yes. No, this one doesn't have one, negative. No, no, no. One. Negative one. Yeah. You factor the negative one. Oh, look. What can cancel? What can cancel? You can cancel the negative ones. So you're left with x plus three, x minus, or x minus two. So I'm gonna start from the beginning. I'm gonna explain it. The first thing that we did is we started with x minus two and two minus x. We take the denominators, we compare them. We're gonna say, oh, they're not, they differ by a negative one. So my LCD is negative one, times x minus two. Now I have to go back to the original and say, which one is missing? Oh, you're missing a negative one on the first one. So multiply by negative one, negative one. When I multiply by negative one, negative one, your fraction, this, you distribute your negative one here and here. When you factor your negative one here and here, you get a negative four and a positive x. And you go to the next fraction and you're gonna say, oh, that one doesn't need anything. Why does that one need anything? Because that is my LCD. You don't touch that one, but you do distribute the negative. Negative, negative times a positive two X, negative two X. Distribute negative and a negative, give me a positive. Okay, now I have a numerator at the top that I have to combine like terms. So I, I have, x minus 2x. Oh, that's a negative 1x. That's right there. That's this one. Then I say negative 4 and a positive 1. That's a negative 3. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I combined it in the numerator. Now, when I look at them, I say, oh, there's a lot of negative there. Yes, take it out. Factor it out. You take the negative 1 out. You're left with x plus 3. But on the bottom, your LCD was a negative one X minus two. So you have a negative one on the top, negative one on the bottom. You cancel the terms and you're left with this as your answer. Is that helpful, the recap? Question here. Wendy, you were gonna unmute and then you didn't. Uh, I don't get it why you, uh, well, I do get it how to explain it to cancel the one, but, um on the previous, you didn't cancel anything or? Well, no, because negative five and a positive five. Right. Okay. They're different problems. I mean, yes, they have the yes, same I answer. understand that, but um, what I get confused is like you did right now that you canceled the one. Now that you explain it, it makes a little bit sense, but I still don't understand. So with practice, and then I have office hours from two to three. So when you're doing your homework, I suggest you to do your homework right after class because you're fresh. I know that you work, you have other things. I get that. But I, I highly suggest you to do that. Um, we have a few left, um, three more. So I'm going to finish the section and then I'm going to move to 6-4. Um, what I'm going to, whatever I don't finish for 6-4, I'm going to do a video, a recording video. Remember Friday, we don't have class because I have a dentist appointment, but guess what? You will have a video to watch and you will answer some questions on Friday. So as if I was there, okay? So you, I will post a video um, probably tomorrow. So then if you wanna do it early, that's fine. You, but the due date is tomorrow. It's gonna be on Friday at 1230. So as if you were in class, is that clear? So you, that doesn't mean free day, yay. No, there's still work to get done. Okay. So I'm gonna continue and I'm gonna finish this lecture. So number six, and then we'll go on break. So let me finish six, seven, and eight, and then we'll go on break. We'll start six, four, whatever I don't finish, I'll record. All right, so number six, we have negative five over x squared minus x minus 
four, and then we have x cubed minus two x squared. All right, this is my problem. Step one, look at my denominators. I have x squared minus x, and I have x cubed minus two x squared. You're gonna factor first. You're gonna factor your denominators. What can I factor from the top? From the first one, an x. What can I factor from the other one, an x squared? So I need an LCD. What is the LCD of this problem? First thing is, what do they share? You're gonna say, oh, they share an X. So what is the highest X that you see? X squared is the highest X you see. So it's gonna contain an X squared and it's gonna contain what? What do they, they don't have in common? They don't have in common the X minus one and the X minus two. So your LCD is X squared x minus one, x minus two. That is my LCD. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna rewrite the original problem. Look up here. So we have negative five times x, x minus one. Notice this is the original, but I just wrote it in factored form. I wrote it in factored form. I didn't change anything. I just changed it to the factor form. Minus four x squared x minus two. It's the same denominator. It's just in factored form. Any questions on just on the what I did? I just changed it to factor form. Yes or no? Do you have any questions? We're good. Now that we change it to factored form, I am going to look at my LCD and I'm going to compare the LCD with the original. And we're gonna say, okay, what is it missing? Well, first of all, this one has only one X, meaning it needs another X and it needs an X minus two. So I'm going, and this is where the multiplication comes. So pay attention. We had an X minus one. So this one's missing an X x minus two. That's what we're going to multiply top and bottom by. And I'm going to put like a negative five x x minus one. Because that's what we're missing. We're missing this and this. Multiply it by the top, multiply it by the bottom because x times x gives you x squared, x minus two, x minus one. Oh, those are the factors from the LCD. Now I'm gonna look at the next fraction. This x squared, x minus two. What term is this one missing from the LCD? It's missing a what term? X one. Uh, say that again, Viviana, the what? X, x minus one. Not x, x minus one, because this one's an x squared. Be careful. It's just missing the x minus one. It already has the x squared. You don't have to put x. This one only had one x. That's why on the first one we had an x, but not for this one. So what we're gonna put is a minus four x squared, x minus two. And then look at what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna multiply an x minus one and x minus one. This is what it's missing. Now I need to multiply all this nastiness. I have to multiply this, the, this one. I need to multiply this one all together. So this is what? Negative, I'm gonna rewrite it as, I'm gonna make it a little bit smoother. Negative five X squared minus 
sorry, plus 10 X. So I'm doing is negative five X times X minus two. I multiply negative five times X, X minus two. That's what the top is gonna to give me. Negative five X squared minus, sorry, plus 10 X. Now I do the same thing with the negative four. Negative four times X times negative one. So here I'll have negative four X plus four. Now I need to combine the top. My top is negative five X squared plus 10 X minus four X plus four. Clean it up. This is my numerator over the LCD. I'm gonna combine the top. 10X minus 4X, that's 6X. So I have negative 5X squared plus 6X minus 4. Did I copy did I copy the problem wrong? I think I did. And that's supposed to be plus four. Plus. What do you mean plus four? Oh yes. Thank you. I think I copied the problem wrong. The original problem, it's only x squared. X squared minus two x on six. I made it hard. <laughs> Oh yeah, you missed the two, huh? Yeah. This is a harder problem, but that that's fine. So here you're gonna say, okay, well, can I factor this? I don't know. We can try the X method and then extension. I made it harder than what it is, but that's okay. I'm gonna to try to factor the top, negative 20 and a six. Two numbers that multiply and give me negative 20, but add to six. I don't think there's a number. I don't think there's multiples. So here, this is a prime and our, our LCD was X, squared x minus two x minus one and that's it that's it you can't factor the top so you just leave it and that was our denominator i made it harder than the original problem but that's that doesn't matter and that's the answer that we get sometimes they'll get something like this all right i'll do one more and then um, we're gonna go on break. So I'm gonna do eight now. And I'm, I'm gonna ensure that I, have, I write it correctly. So it's X over X squared minus 16 minus eight over, okay, X squared plus five X plus All right, we need to compare the denominators. The first denominator is X squared minus 16. I need to factor. Same thing on the, on the other next one. I need to factor the second denominator as well. Go ahead and do that now. Look at the techniques of factoring. It's 
So the way to factor the first one is using difference of squares. X plus four, X minus four. Lauren, do you see that? Lauren. Uh, for which one? X squared minus 16. You factor out an uh -huh. X here, how? Because it's X squared. But the 16, does this- Oh, she doesn't have, oh, I mean, it doesn't have an X. So how did you factor it, out an X? It was a mistake. <laughs> Be careful. This is a difference of squares. I read, thank you. X plus four, X minus four. On the next one, you do the X method. What did we get from the X method, Reina? Did you do this one, the next, the, the second one? Yeah, I got four and one. So X plus four, X plus one. Now we compare the denominators. Which one do they share? They share the X plus four, X plus four. So your LCD will contain X plus four, but what other thing is it gonna contain? What is it missing, Luis? What other ones will be on there? Uh, it's going to be X negative four and X plus one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All of this is your LCD. So then now we're going to go back to the original problem and I'm going to write it in factored form. What is factored form? Well, how we split them up X over X plus four X minus four, because that's our denominator minus eight over X plus one X plus four. Now we look at our LCD and say, oh, what is it missing? So we look at the LCD and then we look at the original. So Wendy, what is this first fraction missing? The X plus one? Correct, correct. Now, um, Jose, what is the next one missing? From the LCD, Jose. Uh, X plus four. Thing. Uh, well, this one already. Or, has X plus four. Oh, minus four. X minus four. Thank you, Jose. So then, now that we figured it out, now we have to clean up the top. Ha ha ha. Yeah. So let's get started. I'm gonna highlight it so then you don't lose yourself. I'm gonna distribute the X here. I'm gonna distribute X squared plus X on that first one. On the second one, don't forget there's a negative in the front. Negative eight X plus 32. Negative eight times X, negative eight times a negative four. Questions here, yes or no? All I'm doing is just, I'm, I'm just distributing the top. I'm not combining nothing yet. And then of course my denominator is my LCD that I'm gonna take care of in a second. But once I have my LCD, I just look at the top and I'm gonna say, okay, now I need to combine my terms. What terms do I have to combine? Marisol, what terms do I have to combine? Um, the eight X, the plus X and the negative eight X. So what do I get from that? Seven, negative seven X. Thank you. And then you're going to say, woohoo, you, you, I'm done. Well, wait a second. Can I factor the numerator? That's the next step we think about. I want to see if I can factor the top. How do I factor the top using the what method? Joanne? I want to factor the, the top. The X method? Thank you, the X method. 
32, A times C, negative seven on the bottom. Two numbers that multiply and give me 32, but add to negative seven. Are there any numbers? I don't know. Let's think about it. X minus seven, okay. So the multiples of 32, it's eight and four, 16 and two. Uh, what other ones? 32 and one, none of them. So this is a prime and that's it. It can't factor. It can't factor, so you're done. But sometimes you might be able to factor and then cancel terms, is that clear? That's why it's always nice to check. We're gonna go on a 10 minute break. We'll come back on section six, four. So on our calendar, we have six, two, oh no, six, two, six, three. So we're gonna go to six, three actually, and then six, four. So you'll have six, four to watch on Friday and answer the questions on a mini quiz. So if you don't see the video, then you don't know how to answer the questions on the mini quiz, right? Do you know that next week we are gonna go on break? We have a break next week. All right, so I'm gonna stop this share. And I'll see you guys in nine minutes. Alrighty, so it's now being recorded. Welcome back. So today uh, we're gonna do the continuation of uh, simplifying complex fractions. So all of these sections on six two and six three really go back into, do you know how to find the LCD? That's the whole idea, the LCD, it really is. So that's what we're gonna be also doing today. Um, so the first thing is that you see two fractions. You see a fraction over a fraction. And there's two ways to do this problem. I use something called the magic one. You'll learn about the magic one in a second. So the magic one is finding the LCD of the two fractions. That's my first step. Find the LCD between 3x and 9x. Who can tell me what is the LCD from 3x and 9x? They both share an x, but the LCD between 3 and 9 is 9. So my LCD is 9x. Nine 9x is my LCD. So I'm going to multiply top and bottom by a big 9x over 9x. Look carefully. 9x over 9x. This is called my magic one. 9x over 9x. It's the LCD over the LCD. What am I going to do? I'm going to multiply 9x times 14. And I'm just going to leave it as 14 times 9x over 3x all divided by 9x times 2 over 9x. All I did, I was multiplying the 9x to the numerators only. And then I'm going to simplify. Okay, cancel the x's and then the nine and the three, this gives us on the top 14 times three only. Notice how I got rid of the whole fraction now. I simplified nine and three, gave me a three on the top and a 14, 14 times three. I do the same thing on the 
fraction on the bottom. The whole 9x and the whole 9x will go away. I'm only going to be left with the 2. Now, this becomes 42 over 2, 21. 21 is my answer. So let me do a little recap. On here, we found the LCD between 3x and 9x. That was 9x. Then we multiplied by the magic one and we reduced. Any questions on how we got 21? Yes or no? I got a little bit confused on the... Um... Once you multiply the 9x and 9x on the first step, uh -huh. the second step where you have the, uh, the 14 times 9x and then you crossed off the... So this one, if when you see this 9x, there's an invisible one. So right. I multiply 9x times 14, but I don't mm -hmm. multiply the numbers. I'm going to separate them because I know I'm going to simplify. Yeah, that's the, the second step is where I got confused. Um, so here, I multiply 14 times 9x over 3x. That's just this fraction. And then you cancel things out. They share an x, they share an x. 9 divided by 3, you get 3 on the top. So you get 14 times three and all of this is gone except 14 times three you do the same thing on the bottom you multiply was, go ahead i had i had um got it that's the part where i had gotten confused because you I good? first to work on the first top one and then to cancel up yeah I, i'm good now thank you <laughs> that's how you have to do it so on number two you find the LCD between four and X. The LCD is four X. They don't share anything. The first step is to find the LCD of four and of X, which is four X. Now I'm going to do, so step one is to find the LCD. Step two, your magic one. What is your magic one? 4x over 4x. LCD over the LCD. That is your magic one. You put a big 4x over 1. I'm putting a 1 because when you multiply fractions, you multiply 4x times the top and the 1 times the 4. So just I'm putting, you don't have to, I don't put it, but I, I've seen that some of you might need it. Do you guys want the one on the bottom or no? Is that helpful or no? Okay, it's helpful. So I'm gonna work on the top. Look carefully. I'm gonna work at the top first and I'm not gonna distribute. I am not going to distribute. I have 4x and then this x minus 8 over 4. That's the first fraction in purple. The x, the 4s will cancel. And I'm only left with x, x minus 8. That's all I'm done. The, fra the fraction is gone. You're only left with x minus 8 on the numerator. Now I'm gonna do the same thing in the black on the bottom fraction. I have four X times X plus eight. I will not, I will not distribute. And then an X on there. Who cancels now? The X's will cancel. 
the X's will cancel. I'm going to be left with 4X plus 8. And that's it because there's nothing else I can do. I can't, I can't combine them. I can't do anything. They can cancel. One is an X minus eight. The other one's an X plus eight. Enrique, can you hear me now or no? So you might not be. Anyway, any questions on the magic one for questions one and two? Questions? All right. All right. Let's look at number three. Can you guys all hear me though? Okay. So it, it's going to be Enrique's issue. All right. Number three, the same thing. You're going to say, really? Yeah. But this one has a little different flavor, but that's okay. So what is the LCD? Well, first, this one's a little bit different. I'm, let, look, up, look here. Look over here. Put a one under here. Put a one under here. What is the LCD of one? Five, one, and five. What is the LCD of all four? Five, exactly. I am comparing the four different fractions, the four different ones. You're going to say, oh, one. Oh, yeah, one over one. So the LCD is five. I'm going to use a magic one again. My magic one is big five, five over one over five over one my magic five sorry my magic one is five over five look here you're going to multiply five times these two so when you do that you're going to get five over one plus 10 over five. I'm only multiplying five times one, five times two. What's five divided by one? That's five plus two. This gives me seven. I'm going to do the same thing for the denominator. So in black, I'm going to do the same thing with the denominator. I'm going to multiply the five times the four, 20 over one plus five times three, 15 over five. This reduces as 20, there's a division, 20 plus three, 15. Three. Question? Oh, no, sorry. 15 divided by five is a three. 23. Your answer is seven over 23. Multiply by the magic one. I'm trying to do it as so number three, this shows you two different methods. I don't care about this one. I, I want you guys to use the, the magic one. It's the same question. They just use a different method. But I don't want to teach you another method. I just want to focus on magic one because that's the most important one. And that's the easiest one, I think. Questions on three. Can you go back a step? On which one? Um, what part? Which step? 
actually two steps back. Um, the the five the um, the second <laughs> I guess the second from the five plus two. So I'm gonna I'm gonna look over here. The one after that one. So so do you got the magic one five over five? Yes. And did you multiply five times one? You got five. Yes. Five mm -hmm. times two, you got 10. Yes. And then the and bottom, you, the same thing. And then what? At the bottom, you, you five times four, 20, and then five times three, 15. Yes. So mm -hmm. on this step, I simplified. I don't add them. I simplify. Five divided by one is a five. 10 divided by five is a two. Okay. And that's where I got it. You don't add the fractions. You can't because one is a five and was one's a one. You can yeah. add the fraction. I did the same thing here. 20 divided by one, you get 20. 15 divided by five, you get three. Got it. Thank you. So you simplify. You don't add them. You simplify them. Any other questions? All right, five, LCD again, magic one. I need to find the LCD of all of them. Put a one under the one. Put a one under a one. There's a one here. So we're trying to find the LCD between four X and one. What is the LCD of four X and one? Everybody should know how to find the LCD now. The LCD is 4X. My LCD is 4X. Now my step two. Wendy, do you have a question? We're good. Then we need to use a magic one again. My magic one is 4X over one divided by 4X over one. I'm going to focus on the top. I'm going to distribute 4x times x, 4x squared over 4 minus 4x, because I'm distributing 4x to minus 1, minus 4x over x. From here, I simplify, I cancel. This shares a four, so you cancel the fours. Here they share an X, so you cancel the X's. X squared minus four. That is your numerator. That is your top. Same thing on the bottom, using a different color. I'm gonna use a blue. I'm going to take the four X and I'm gonna to distribute to one. 4x over 1 because 1 times 1. Same thing, 4x plus 4x distributed to the 2 plus 8x over x. Here I simplify 4x divided by 1. It's just 4x. I simplify and I cancel the x's. Then I need to factor the top and factor the bottom. How do I factor the top? Difference of squares, x minus 2, x plus 2. From here to here, I factor. You factor out of 4, x plus 2. I factored from here to here. Now, one of them will cancel and I'm left with X minus two over four. This is my final answer. If you left it uh, as, if you leave it like this, is not gonna be correct. You need a factor and cancel. Is that clear, everybody? I'm going to pause for questions. Do you have any questions? Michael, do you have any questions or you're good? 
Oh, I was answering if it was clear. Okay. So six, same thing. Six, you look at the LCD of X. Oops. X, X squared, X squared, and X. What is the LCD of all of them? You should know what it is. X, X, X squared. Thank you, Viviana. X squared is the LCD. So the LCD is X squared. So I need my magic one. What is my magic one? Big X squared over X squared. X squared over one divided by X squared over one. I'm going to focus on the top again. And I'm going to distribute 4x times 4, 4x squared over x, plus 5x squared over x squared. From here, I don't add the numerators. I cancel. I simplify. What do they have in common? This is an x, and this will go down to 4x. Do you see that? Because I have two x's and one on the bottom, Wendy? I have a quick question. So yeah. you cancel terms on each fraction by itself, right? Correct. You don't cancel terms on all of them? No, step by step. Okay, so it's each fraction. Each fraction. Okay. So you cancel, you cancel. That's good. Now I move on to the next one. Here, the x squareds will cancel, and I'm going to leave a 5 here. Now I'm going to go down to the second fraction with the blue. I'm going to take the x squared, and I'm going to distribute to the 16. 16 x squared over x squared minus 25 x squared over x. x squared distribute to the 25. Now I'm going to look at the fraction and I'm going to say the X squared cancel. So I'm left with 16. I cancel only one of the X's minus 25 X. And you're going to say, woohoo, I'm done. No, what can we factor from, am I missing something? You could potentially... You can potentially factor out a negative on the bottom. You can, but you don't have to. That's it. You can't factor anything from the denominator. 16 minus 25x, you can't. Unless you want to factor at a negative, and then you can have negative 25x minus 16 over 4x minus, uh, plus 5. But you don't have to do it. I'm going to leave it like this. Here, you can't do anything else. That's it. This is your answer. Is that clear? Seventeen is it's a nice one. Is that it? No, we have a lot. How many? Oh, not not a lot. We might finish today's six three. What is the LCD? I recommend this is what, what I'm what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna recommend. Look at this. Look at this, look at this, look at this. The LCD. You're going to factor out a negative from 13 minus X. Negative 1, X minus 13. This is what we did at the beginning. We have this, we have X minus 13, and we have X. I need to find the LCD of all of them. The LCD is going to be negative 1, X, and X minus 13. All this is your LCD. My magic one will contain all of them. Remember, guys, that. Remember that. Remember this. Remember this. That 13 minus X is negative 1X minus 13. 
Don't forget that because I'm going to start using the magic one now. Wendy, you're like, mm, what? No, no, no. It's, no, I guess I'm going ahead. No, that's fine. Okay. So I'm going to start using my magic one. My magic one is negative one X, X minus 13 over one over negative one over x, x minus 13 over one. I'm just writing it right now. I'm going to have to distribute all this into here and into here. I'm not gonna write it all. I'm just gonna look at it well, I might need I might need to write it. I might because you're gonna want me to write it. So I'll write it. You'll have a 12, a negative one, an x, and an x minus 13 over 13 minus x plus 13 negative one x x minus 13 over x minus 13 all over and i'm going to start canceling all i did was just distribute you see that i multiplied this by this and this you see that yes or no okay so now i'm going to cancel now what can i cancel from the first one Remember that this is the same as negative one and X minus 13. They're the same. 13 minus X is the same as negative one X minus 13. That's why I'm able to cancel the negative one, the 13 minus X and the X minus 13. What am I left, what am I left with? 12x. Thank you. 12x. From here, I'm left with 12x. I move to the second one. What can I cancel? The x minus 13. So I'm left with minus 13x. Negative 1 times 13, negative 13, and there's an x there. That's my numerator. I'm going to go to the denominator now. Who needs questions on the top? Everybody gets what we have on the top? 13 minus X, 12 X minus 13 X, everybody got it? I'm gonna do the, the bottom now. So I'm gonna do it with blue, four, times negative one X, X minus 13 plus nine negative one X, X minus 13. This is the LCD that I'm distributing here and here. I'm just writing it all out. On the bottom, I have an X here. And on the bottom, I have an X minus 13. Oh, what can I cancel from the first one? The X's will cancel. So I'm gonna be left with negative four x minus 13 on here negative one times four negative four x minus 13 on the other one the x minus 13 will go away so i'm going to be left question yes i have a question yes I have a question. because i got confused on that on the previous one but uh, over here i see that you did multiply by the negative one, right? Because it's, because you couldn't cancel. That's why, what on the previous, I'm sorry, on the previous one, I see that you multiplied because it got confused, but I didn't want to ask until you finished. So you didn't multiply the 12 by the negative one. So you did cancel first, right? I didn't multiply the negative one because I didn't need to, because I knew that the negative one was gonna cancel automatically. 
because uh, that's why I keep saying third. Okay, in because my of the head. LCD. Because of the LCD. Okay, thank you. Oh, I got confused there and now. But you got it now? Yes, thank you. So then negative four, X minus 13. Over here, the X minus, the X minus 13 cancel. You're left with negative nine X. So here on the top, we have 12 X minus X. And then here I have negative four X minus 13 minus nine X. Now simplification goes next. You, you combine 12 X minus 13 X, you get a negative one X. Do you agree? Now I do the same thing with the denominator, distribute the negative four, negative four X plus, what do we get? 52, I believe, or 42? 52? 13 times four? Yes, 52. Plus 52, I doesn't wanna write, oh. 52 minus nine X, I'm almost done. I need to negative, negative, you combine like terms, negative X over negative 13 X plus 52. You cannot cancel the negative X. You cannot. There's a typo on the solutions that they have. So on the solutions that um, they portray, it's the same thing. So here we get, this is our answer, negative X over negative 13 X plus 52. Do you see this? Yes or no? This is a lot of problem. This is a lot of work, but you need to know how to do it. Same thing, magic one, but be careful here. Your magic one Look at this. What do you think you're going to have to do first? It says with an F. You need a, what Viviana? Factor. Factor. You have your, your denominators. You have three denominators. Which three? You have X plus three, X plus seven, and then this whole thing. These are your denominators. Now, you're going to say, well, wait a second. I need to factor the, this, the last one using the X method. So go ahead and do that. I claim you get X plus seven, X plus three. So then I look at all of the LCD, all of the denominators and tell me what is the LCD of this problem? This is my LCD because it has both of them. So that's what's going to be my magic one. My magic one. Enrique, can you hear me now? Sure, I can. Okay, great. My magic one will now be X plus seven, X plus three over X plus seven, X plus three. That's what my magic one. So I'm going to rewrite the whole problem. I'm going to write this, this as your, my factored form. The factored form of this is this. I'm just going to rewrite it in factored form. So over here, uh, seven over X plus three plus 14 over X plus seven all over three X plus 13 over X plus three, X plus seven. I just rewrote this like that, that's it. I haven't done magic one, I haven't done anything. Now I am gonna do magic one. And I'm gonna put parentheses here because that's important. And I know we're actually are off by four minutes. So put your name and your last name on the chat, you're free to go. Name and last name. I'm going to finish this problem. If you want to stay around, that's fine. I'm going to stay until I finish. Put your name and your last name. This is recorded. If you have to go to work, if you have to go elsewhere, that's fine. 
but I do want to finish section six, four, sorry, six, three, because you need it for your homework. Remember, Elizabeth, I will not see you on Friday. I'm going to go to the dentist appointment, but you still have to see my video. Okay, if you have to leave, peace out. But if not, stick around. All right, so you're going to multiply by your magic wand. X plus three, X plus seven over one, all over X plus three, X plus seven over one. Now, I'm gonna get rid of this because I need room. Now, look up, pay attention. Seven X plus three, seven X is going to distribute to the seven and the 14. So I'm gonna have a seven, an X plus three, an X plus seven over X plus three plus 14 X plus three, X plus seven all over x plus seven. All I'm doing is the pink one. Then I start canceling x plus three, x plus three. So all I have is seven, x plus seven, x plus seven, x plus seven will cancel, plus 14, x plus three. You can distribute, you could do that, that's fine. 7x plus 49 plus 14x plus 42. You can combine them, you can. But, so then your numerator, the top of the problem will be 21x, I add 14 and seven, and then I add 49 and 42, that gives me a 91. Does that look good? Is that true? 91? Is that what I get when I add 409 and 42? Is that what you guys get? 91? So that's your top 21, 21x plus 91. That's all this. I'm gonna do the same thing from the bottom. I'm gonna do this with blue. I'm going to do three X plus 13 times X plus three, X plus seven, all over X plus three, X plus seven. This time, both of these will cancel. And I'm only left with three X plus 13. Do you see that? Yes or no? Questions here. So this three X plus seven, this distribute to this, but this has a parentheses. You don't touch these. And then there's one of there's two at the top, two at the bottom. They cancel. So you're only left with three x plus thirteen. Now you're gonna say, oh, I'm done. So I have twenty one x plus ninety one. But guess what? Can can we factor this? Yes or no? Can we? And I believe you can. They're divisible by seven. So 91, is that divisible by seven? Yes. So you factor out a three and you get X, sorry. If you factor out a seven from here, you get three X plus 13. Oh, the bottom also has a three X plus 13. Your final answer of this nastiness is seven because you factored it out. Raina, be careful, it's seven X. You factor out the seven and then you get three X plus 13. So your final answer for eight is seven. 
we are left with these two. Um, I wouldn't worry about these. This, I'll just tell you how to rewrite them, okay? And then you guys can find the LCD. This x to the negative five is one over x to the fifth plus four over one, all over one over x fifth minus four over one. And you guys can do the same thing. Magic one, the LCD is x to the fifth. Here, same here. This is three over x plus nine over y, all over four over x squared plus three over y squared. So here, your LCD would be x squared y squared. Your LCD here will be x to the fifth. And you use your magic one. All right, I'm going to stop this. I know I went over 10 minutes. I apologize. So I'm going to stop the recording.